Hello, my name is Kane Munro. I'm half asleep, but this is business and life advice in song lyrics. So just what are today's lyrics? Now, it's a fact that often we keep holding on to things even after they've clearly run their course. Now, hands up who held on to that relationship a little too long and it gets all toxic at the end. Well, yeah, hell yeah. Uh, hands up who stayed in the job they hated because it was easy or it paid well or you didn't really want to change, even though the boss <laughs> the boss was a jerk. Yep, hell yes. Uh, hands up who started a business that wasn't going anywhere after the first couple of years, uh, but you kept at it anyway because of the sunk costs, even though it was clearly, clearly going nowhere. Uh, yep, if you're like me, you've probably already run out of hands after the first two. Uh, humans are often just really bad at quitting the things they dislike. It's almost like we enjoy the misery, revel in the misery. You kind of continue to drink from the cup of misery uh, as it was. We hold on thinking that things may change, but they seldom, they seldom do. So how do you know when to give up on something? Now I mentioned sunk costs before. The sunk cost fallacy is basically where you worry about what we'll lose if we move on and not think enough about the cost of not moving on. Uh, we basic pro basically prioritize not losing what we've spent rather than thinking rationally about the additional resources we will lose by continuing down the same miserable old path. So rather than getting caught up in this death spiral, you really need to deliberately refocus your thinking on the gains uh, so you can be more objectively uh, in the way you weigh up the alternatives. You need to ask yourself, basically, what might you gain by cutting your losses right now? Will you be happier? Uh, will you have more time? Uh, will you open yourself up to more or better opportunities? Uh, and if it is, if it is a relationship, uh, if it's a relationship thing, then it's pretty hard to meet new people when you're still hooked up to that old, old misery guts who makes you sad or makes you mad. Uh, again, you can only truly control your effort and your attitude, but you can and should ask other people their opinion on your situation. Rather than relying solely on your own thinking and instincts, you should consult with friends, maybe family, uh, to get their opinions. Uh, maybe they have been in the exact same situation as you before and you didn't know. Maybe they've always secretly disliked your partner uh, and can tell you the five reasons why they are a doofus or a douchebag. Be careful though, it's important that you seek out people who are independent uh, and don't have a fixed opinion or a vested interest in uh, your situation. So someone who already has those five reasons ready to go is maybe not the one to take advice from. Uh, the other thing is to show yourself some compassion. When something doesn't turn out the way we planned, we can be really, really overly self-critical, be hard on ourselves. Instead of beating yourself up or blaming yourself over when, what went wrong, focus on what you can learn from the situation. You can and will do better next time, or at least know the signs to look for to make a quicker decision next time around. Ultimately, putting an end to something that is clearly not working for you is a sign of growth and maturity, as well as a step towards ultimately being happier. And that's all that matters. I'll be back next week with more business and life advice in song lyrics. So until then, stay safe, stay well, and my friends, be happy.